If you're watching this video, you might be interested in teaching English abroad. You might have watched some of my videos, you might have heard about all the benefits of teaching abroad, like living a great lifestyle on a good salary, getting to travel, cheap living expenses, low barrier to entry with qualifications, you know, you can just get started quite quickly and easy compared to many other careers. And all this is absolutely true. And I wouldn't have been out in Asia for the last five years teaching and then actually running our own TEFL course that certifies and trains teachers here if I didn't think it was a great opportunity for a lot of people. However, what I wanted to cover in this video is something that I think has become a little bit of a problem in this industry in general within the teaching English abroad community of foreign English teachers. And that is this sort of attitude that it's not a real job, that coming out to Asia to teach here is kind of this part-time thing that you don't have to put all that much effort into. It's not a serious job that you don't have to take seriously and put effort into. Now, obviously, there's a reason why this seems to be a trend among a lot of people. And this is just something I've noticed in general among teachers. I would say a lot of our teachers that have come through us, the attitude is quite good and positive. People understand that being a teacher and an English teacher is something that's very important in education, in the lives of your students. You know, learning English is really, really important by becoming a fluent speaker of English. They can get better jobs, they can get into universities, uh, study abroad. Really, it's just a gateway to a much better life for English language learners. So it is an important job. Now, what I think happens is a lot of people treat this as a gap year or something that they can do to just make some money while they're traveling. And I think there's this thing going on at the moment of this make money online and travel the world. You know, you see all these ads for this kind of stuff, lots of YouTube channels, people selling their courses on how you can do it. So obviously they've got incentive for marketing it and making it seem like this great lifestyle. And teaching English has fallen into one of the brackets of things that you can do under this umbrella that you can just fund your travels through. Now, I think that's one aspect of it. And the other aspect is just this degree of freedom that you get when you're an English teacher in Vietnam, a foreign in general, you do get a lot of leeway. And I think the best way I heard this described was a lot of people treat Vietnam like Westworld. So you can kind of come here, do whatever you want, very little consequences. And I don't know if that's necessarily a healthy attitude because you do get a lot of freedom uh, being a foreigner here. You don't have to abide by a lot of the cultural standards and you also get almost a free pass by the locals because, oh yeah, you're just a foreigner, you know, it's, you don't understand. But there's a certain point where it feels like that is okay when you first get here, but then you kind of have to become a little bit more culturally sensitive. You can't treat this place, this country, the people as a playground. And I think it's these factors that have come together to create this kind of culture where people think it's just an easy job that you don't have to put a lot of effort into and that you can kind of do whatever you want while you're in Vietnam and teaching English here. Now, like I mentioned, it's, it's a really important job and it doesn't come without its difficulties. There are a lot of difficulties. It is a job. You are getting paid to do a job. And I think also people kind of expect it to be easy. It's just teaching English. You know, I can speak English so I can teach it. First of all, the reason why we run a four week in class TEFL course is just because you can speak the language doesn't mean you know how to teach it well. And once you've learned those basic skills, then you still have to progress and improve as a teacher if you want to get results for the students. So when it comes to the actual job itself, you do need to put effort into it. There's going to be lots of challenges. Kids can be 
a nightmare sometimes to teach, let's be realistic. You know, some classes are going to be great, some classes are going to go badly. Sometimes you're going to enjoy your job, sometimes you aren't, but it doesn't mean that you should treat it as something that isn't important. And I guess I'm just a little frustrated sometimes when I come across people with this attitude arriving in Vietnam and yes, um, maybe you're not planning to be here forever, but I think you should take the job seriously, put effort in, show up on time, you know, don't drink the night before if you're going to be teaching in class early in the morning. I see teachers doing this and it's kind of disappointing. So really the message I want to get across in this video is that yes, you can come to Vietnam and get a job here and experience all the great things that come with it. You know, live out here, experience the food, meet new people from all over the world because there's lots of foreign teachers from all over the place. Meet the locals, really encourage you to make friends with locals. The younger generations are really open, speak English fairly well, and you can really make some great friends among the locals. Don't stick in your little foreigner bubble. Rather come into it as, yes, you can have fun, but also take what you do seriously. And I think if you do that, not only will you achieve better results for the students in your job, you'll also be doing the industry a favor. You'll also be showing that you are someone that can represent your country well, because you don't want to come to a new country and then people will judge you and then your entire country by the way you act. So bear that in mind. And when it comes to the job itself, put effort into it, try to become a good teacher, spend time planning good lessons, spend time improving your skills. Don't take the job as a joke, even if you aren't planning to be a teacher forever. There are people who are, and they take their careers very seriously. And I think the whole idea that it's not a real job, teacher English, is one that we should move away from and allow people who are going to come and do a good job to uh, take over from those people who are really just messing around a little bit. And that way I think you will feel more fulfilled in general because you're actually putting effort into your job. It's going to be hard and challenging at times, but at the same time, you'll be making a difference. You can still live a good lifestyle, have a lot of fun, travel, do great things while you're out here and have free time because, you know, even if you work hard, you typically have a good amount of free time in Vietnam in most jobs. So that's my little slight rant, uh, more of a, just a suggestion on how you come into it, your mindset that you have when it comes to teaching English in Vietnam. And I think if everyone puts more effort into having this kind of perspective, even if this is not something you plan to do for the rest of your life, then overall you're going to be doing a lot of good and just really helping out the industry move in the right direction. So with that, I'm going to wrap up this video. If you thought this was useful, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe for more videos about teaching English and life in Vietnam. And Alex here from Ninja Teacher Academy. I'll speak to you very soon. Peace.